Hi everybody, welcome to Siberia 2, the sequel to Siberia. At the ending of the first game, we saw that Kate Walker had jumped onto the train and is now heading with Hans and Oscar to find Siberia. So, that's just, we're just going to continue on and see what happens next. So let me just hide myself while the, while the opening scene takes place. Have you heard anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna be coming back. Call her! Siberia is an island. An island lost in the ocean. People say Siberia doesn't exist, but people are so wrong. The isle is covered in the tallest grass. Strange grass that grows through the snow. Mammoths eat it all the time. They're always hungry. Hans, you must rest now. You have a very high fever. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. Mammoths, Siberia, all that. It's just a dream, a kid's dream. Promise me, Kate. She's not replying to her messages, sir. Try again, damn it, try again! Hello, Miss Walker? Just a moment, please. I... Give me that. Kate? Come on now, pet, answer me. I understand your last mission was a hassle for you. But you know, the company has ways of showing its gratitude. Kate, it's time for you to come home now. Your place is here in New York. Your job is here. Your friends are here. Your life. Kate? Kate? Kate Walker! I promise, Hans Vogelberg. We're going to Siberia. Okay, here I am. Okay. I want to adjust the screen. One second. Okay, one, okay. Here we go with the phone again. Hello? Kate Walker? This is Oscar calling. Your driver. Oscar! Oscar! You're using a telephone? Mr. Foroberg has in effect... Jerry rigged me something very approximative, inspired by your own miniature device. Mr. Forelberg is such a repository of knowledge. I am calling to inform you that we have arrived at the station, Kate Walker. Great. Which station's that? The station is located in the town of Romansburg, Kate Walker. Okay. I'm gonna go snoop around. Do be careful, Kate Walker. Always am, Oscar. I know I said I played this chapter, but I do f I did forget a lot because I did this before I ever even did the first game on YouTube. So it's been a while, and I did forget. I'm just gonna go back here real quick. I don't know if I need anything here. Oh, here's Han. I'm not remembering the buttons. So I walk with I can walk with either analog stick. But I thought there was a way to talk just talking to him. Nope. I'm trying to. Nope. Oh okay, wait, I saw it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Hi. Hello there, Kate Walker. Oh yeah, so the last game, you guys barely ever saw this. I'm going to try to go on this side for this game. And we'll see how it goes.
hopefully I won't be in the way of anything. And I'm gonna make myself just a tad bit smaller. Yeah, I, I'm probably just gonna be in the way at some points. Uh, it's just the way it is. Now you can finally see. This is, uh, the dialogue options. I, um, I don't even know what she's supposed to pick. When are we leaving again? I want to leave as quickly as possible, but it's Oscar who decides. He's the master of the train. I don't mean to get personal, but don't you think that this journey is going to be a bit tough for a man your age? I am going to Siberia, Kate Walker. End of discussion. You do understand. Yeah, so pretty much everybody knows Siberia is just a fantasy of his. Like, with, like the mammoths are still walking, so you know everybody. You know, we're at this point we're just humoring him. Either way, he's gonna lead us on a a fun adventure. Do you think that the train can go much further? There's more and more snow, and the cold is biting. I designed and built it, Kate. You did remember to wind it. No, not yet. I'm gonna go wind it. Then Calm get down. it wound and let's be off. I will. Hans, where are we? Somewhere on the way to Siberia. Is it still far? Pretty much. <laughs> Nobody's ever seen this island. No explorers ever talked about it. And, well, it's not on any map, Hans. I know Siberia exists, Kate Walker. You know what? I'm so happy to be here. To follow you in pursuit of your dreams. My dreams are now your dreams, Kate Walker. Yeah, see you later, Hans. Right, we're gonna go on. Yes, see you later. Oh yeah, that annoys me when the uh, angle changes. Yeah, like, ooh, that's annoying. Because if you don't stop moving the analog stick in time, then it's like you're going backwards. Oh, okay. There we go. Press A to interact. Yeah, I know, I just don't have to interact with anything. Yet. Oh, now I do. <laughs> I'm on the Switch, if you couldn't tell by the pictures of the controls on the bottom. Oh, he dropped something. Welcome to Romansburg, the last town before the vast wild glacial wastes of the tundra. Retired Colonel Emilioff Gupachev, guardian of the Imperial Marches and a general store manager at your service, miss. How may I? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the frontier town of Romansburg. Gateway to the Tundra, the last town before the vast plains of the Frozen Waste. Oh, to what use? I might as well be a snowman. Hmm, what a welcome. I know he dropped something. Where is... No, come on. Anyway, let me go. I think if you go down here, I think that's where... Yeah, I'm doing that already. I'm already running, so calm down. Pretty sure you go down here. Yeah, this is Oscar. What a strange town. What do you make of it, Oscar? Trains should never have to stop. <laughs> I simply don't like stations, Kate Walker nor the towns around them. That's a little bit of a generalization. The whole town is lugubrious, and I don't like these houses underneath the rails. To me, they spell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Trouble. We have to be very careful. Haha, uh -huh, still the same old scaredy cat. I cannot change my design, Kate Walker. See you later. Yeah, I don't think we need to talk to him. See you, Kate Walker. I don't know if I can do anything here.
No, 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 no. Come on now. Do it one more time. Yeah, that's the thing to- oh, there we go. That's the thing to wind the train. It's hard to see. Is it doing it? I don't know if it did it. Did it do it? That's so hard to see. Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker. That's it, Oscar. I've wound we the go. train up. We did. Now we can leave. That's impossible, Kate Walker. Why, Oscar? Soon we shall be confronting extremely cold temperatures, Kate Walker. We shall need coal to keep ourselves warm. <sighs> this time you're not wrong, Oscar. It is a bit nippy. As soon as you have filled the coal car, we can set out again, Kate Walker. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Poor Kate. See you later. Oops. See you, Kate Walker. Kate's always got to do everything. Yeah, there's nothing down there, just so we all know. And we really don't have to come back down this way. But I know that guy dro- Oh, God. I know that guy dropped something. Oh, wait. I think I highlighted it. I can't tell. I oh, know. Okay, here. Duh. Okay. I know he dropped something. Oh, maybe he dropped it down below. Speaking of down below, let's try to go down these stairs. Nothing I can do. You can't. It's locked. Doesn't look like that works. Just showing you guys everything. I already knew that I know this works. This was a confusing one to figure out because it took like ages and ages for me to figure out what to do. But I do know. I thought that him dropping something was significant. This is where my memory. I'm losing my memory a bit on this. Um, good day to you, sir. My name is Kate Walker. I. <laughs> You're American, aren't you? An American in a hole like this. Don't see that every day. Well, I am Colonel Emilyov. I am, in my capacity, in charge of the administration of this jurisdiction. We just arrived by train. What an intriguing town. I'm impatient to visit it, Colonel. There's not really much to see. There's this and that, but really there's just white, infinite white, like a desert blurring into the sky. Nothing but white till you reach the furthermost tip of the frozen Russian hinterland. Welcome to the last bastion of civilization, ma'am. Tell me, Colonel, why is there a gate blocking off the staircase leading to the lower part of the town? Low down is low down, and high up is high up. Wow. <laughs> People who are low down got different points of view from those who are high up. Different kettle, different fish. If you get my meaning, Miss Walker. I think he's like the only one that's up here, though. My friend who's with me came by here once. His name's Hans Varlberg. You don't know him, do you? I haven't been here for long. We're going to keep on going, pushing northeast. A great journey to an improbable place. I actually think I'm just keeping an old man company in pursuit of his final dream. Ah, people like you, Miss Walker, end up never going home. Nothing wrong with that, as long as she's happy. Tell me, Colonel. Are there a lot of trains that pass through here? Not really. But then, I've not been here for long. Mm. 
Right. I'll oh. leave you to get on with your business, I Colonel. Missed the coal thing, my bad. Not much left to get on with. You always say Colonel? that. Colonel. Sorry, I am very busy, madame. Not much to get on with, but you're very Colonel, busy. Colonel, my train needs coal to continue my journey. Do you know where I can find some? There's a dispenser outside. Feel free to fill her up, Miss Walker. Courtesy of the state. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. That's bullshit. You just said you were very busy. And it's just like the hotel guy. The first episode of the first game when he said he doesn't get five minutes, but then he tells her he's really busy. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay. I'm taking the key. I'm taking whatever I can take. There's something in here to do with that key, and I can't remember for the life of me what it was. Because I don't think it was for outside. Oh. Yeah, I think it was for one of these, and I don't want to do it yet, because I don't want to screw it up. Alright, I did that. Okay. Just to make sure... I'm not making a mistake. I'm gonna go try it. I don't remember how to get out of here. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna try it with this key. Pretty sure this won't work. Nothing I can do. Yeah. It's locked. Oh, come on. Okay, so I don't remember. Wait, let me look up. And I know the ladder is a thing. But I might be getting ahead of myself. Go down, go down. Was that it? Did I screw it up by taking that? Oh, I took the key back. Okay. No, oh, come on. This sucks. <laughs> Wait, that was it then. This thing's stuck. Calm down, damn. I'll need some change. Yeah, but what's in there? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Is that the one then? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. But I don't know. I'll need some change. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. I just don't know which one I need. I'll need some change. Yeah, okay. So nothing's being told to me by what it's... So what, what's going on. Colonel? Sorry. I am very busy, madame. Yeah, I believe that. We're going to Siberia. Siberia Island? I didn't mean to do that, my bad. Never heard of it. I'm in no position to advise you, I'm afraid. How do I get down there, then? Oh, not the most advisable of moves. All the undesirables on the plateau wash up in our little town sometime. And I'd rather any lowlife stay down low. I don't think I understand, Colonel. I'm just a soldier, Miss Walker. Carrying out the soldier's orders. And how do I operate this... Uh, machinery? 
Just pull the handle and the coal drops down all by itself. Automatic, see? Totally automatic. I don't think it worked, though. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. Okay, so I'm going out here. I think something out here happens. Doesn't look like that works. No, no, come on, come on. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I remember what happens now. The thing that he dropped, I think, actually did drop down below. Okay, so let's do this first. Oh, no, wait, no. A girl down there. Hi! My name's Kate Walker. Hi! My name is Malka. I'm Kate Walker. And you? Uh, you are Malka who? Malka. Just Malka. Why is there a gate that stops us going any lower? It's not a gate that stops you going down. It stops people going up. Hmm. I see. The old colonel says that people down here are all low life. Hey, he's not nice. I'm going. I'll go see what <laughs> I can do. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. Here's the lever for the coal. And there's no pull. Shocker. Something's not right with this machine. Yeah, okay. I know. And I go back and yell at the colonel for there being no coal. Colonel? Sorry. I am very busy, madam. Yeah, okay. That coal machine doesn't seem to want to work. Ah. Uh, in that case, you're going to have to wait. Wait? How long? Oh, a week. Mm, Maybe okay. two. Maintenance okay. doesn't come calling too often. Colonel, you can't repair it, can you? I really need coal, you know? No. Sorry. All that mechanical gubbins, motors, engines... Not my thing. That's a maintenance job for a maintenance man. There aren't any other travelers just passing through here? Passing through to where, Miss Walker? After this stop, there's nowhere left to go. Promising. Colonel, would you have the key to the gate? Ah, uh, no. Not anymore. Must have lost it earlier. But I was wasting my time on that dang music machine. Who can say? Hey, it isn't my fault. You being here <laughs> has upset my usual timetable and general routine. Sorry. If you hadn't been here, I wouldn't have gone out. And then I wouldn't have lost the key. Rude. So you haven't got the key then? Sorry to say. If I had it, I'd give it to you. A gate's made for opening, after all. And, of course, there's no double. Ah, got to wait for maintenance to make their call, Miss Walker. In a week or two. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. So we're at a standstill. I don't think I do anything with this until I talk to the girl. I can't remember. So I'll talk to Oscar. And then I'll talk to Hans. Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker.
Do you think that we're any nearer to our goal, Oscar? It is getting colder, that much is certain. Personally, I have no particular goal, Kate Walker. But the train and myself have not been designed to function forever. I would be grateful if you could talk about this matter with Mr. Forelberg, and him alone, if you please. Are we about to leave, Oscar? As soon as you have found some coal, Kate Walker. Yeah, well, guess what, dude? See you later. See you, Kate Walker. I don't think there's anything I can say or do. I don't know. I don't remember if I really have to talk to Hans or not. Stop it. Hans? Yes, Kate? Okay. So I find the coal, then we leave. Do hurry, Kate. Hans, why are you so eager to find Siberia? I don't know, Kate. I've been looking for it for so long. <laughs> yeah, so... See you later, Hans. getting sick. Yes, see you later. I don't think there's anything in here I can take. I don't remember. This is what happened last time I got stuck. Come on, stop it. Go in here, I don't think there's anything in the bathroom. I think it's the bathroom, yes, yeah, the bathroom. It's a little chilly to be taking a shower. <laughs> Thanks all the same. Malka? Yes, Kate? Itchy nose. Do you know who's got the key to the gate? If you give me a present, I'll tell you, Kate Walker. I'd love to, but you're down there and I'm up here. Well, you'll just have to find a present that comes from up there. What kind of present you want, kid? Tell me right now what you want. It'll be much easier. I really want Katalas, Kate Walker. They've got some in the shop. Katalas? What's that? Katalas. That's what they are. Candies. You don't know them? They're great. Okay. It was the candy that we had to get. I couldn't remember. Do you want to look around the train? Are you going to take me away with you on a journey? No. I can't do that, Malka. You know why. In that case, I don't want to see your train. Jeez. I understand, Malka. Let's not talk about it again. If he's so upset about it. <laughs> Do you know how that machine over there works? No, Kate Walker. Maybe you've seen other people use it. Yes, when the trains stop. But as they aren't stopping... So, that's what you want. Candies from the general store. <laughs> that's what she said. Yep, that's all. Katalas. And in exchange, you'll tell me where I can find the key to the gate. You have my word, Kate Walker. Okay. I'm going. I'll go see what I can do. I'll wait for you down below, Kate Walker. I just couldn't remember what she wanted. I had a feeling it was the candy, but it also looked like there might have been a toy in one of those. I couldn't remember if that was it. I have no clue what these are, but they look like one of them looks like it might be a toy. No, how do I do it? What 
Was that not it? I hate this so much, oh my gosh. Fish candy. Is that what she wanted? I hope this is what she wanted to tell us. sounds nasty, though. Valka, I think I found what you're looking for. Yuck! <laughs> These fish are gross! That wasn't it. I'm My sorry. God. I thought that... It's Catalas that I want, not these pukey fish candies. Whoever thought of making candies out of real fish? Yeah, sound gross. I'll bring you back whatever you want. Wait there. I use the money though. Oh, I have the key. <laughs> I guess it was kind of worth it for the entertainment of that. Go on, Kate. <laughs> Kate, go. Okay, there we go, Kate. Stop it. I hate this. Good smells. Okay. So that was- I couldn't tell if it was a candy or a toy or whatnot. I really couldn't tell. Let me go. Of course, I couldn't remember. Here we go. Catch! You've only got one chance! And if I miss it? <laughs> what if she missed it? No, I got the gate key. That would have really sucked if I missed it, though. Oh, Kate. Kate missed it. Go. Finally. Not creepy at all. Kate Walker is in trouble. We've got to go look for her. Find someone. I don't know who. Someone spunky. Yes, sir. We've got Nick Canton. A detective. He's already worked on some tricky problems. He was good. Yeah. He might just be the ticket. Take care of it right now, John. Get him out there. Right, sir. Hell, what is going through that kid's head? Yeah. Hello, Canton? We've got a job for you, uh... How shall I put it? A special job. That's so creepy that they're, like, doing that. They're sending somebody out to get her. Like... She quit. Let she quit. Let it go. She ain't working with you no more. Weird vehicle. Now we're down here. Let's go say hi to Malka. Malka. Am I? There we go. Do you like your candies then? Not bad. Do you have any family, Malka? I'm big enough to take care of myself. Hey, don't get mad. It was just a question. And anyway, of course I've got family. Zirkos, he takes care of me. Because my mama, she's dead. I said. Tell me, is Zirkos kind to you? Yes, very. He is my friend. Has he been living in the village for long? When my ma and me came here, Zirkos looked after us. That was a long time ago, you know. 
Do you know who could show me how this coal machine works? No. It's an old machine, Cakewalker, and it smells. <laughs> yeah, I understand. No, you don't. You must be really rich, and you must have thousands of friends in America. So, what are you doing here, Cakewalker? I don't know. I'm miles from home, and I don't really know where I'm going. It's crazy. Yes, Cakewalker, but there are loads of people who don't know where they're going. And they are all crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to Siberia. That suits you as a destination? Hmm. If one day you return to America, you must take me with you, Kate. Do you know a place called Siberia? It's a land. They talk about it in kid stories. It's so far away it probably doesn't exist anyway. From what I've heard, there's fields of blue grass as far as the eye can see. And mammoths. That's not right. Grass is green. Or yellow in the fall. Blue grass is silly. Either way is fine with me, Malka. You really are a strange lady, Kate Walker. Maybe there's someone who knows how this machine works? Not Circos. He's too small to press the button. <laughs> the Berghoff brothers, they must know. They know everything. But I don't like them. They are not nice. Why do you say there are bad guys here? The Borgoff brothers are liars and thieves. And they're nasty and they smell. Especially the little one that walks like a penguin. <laughs> oh you God. shouldn't make fun of people, Malka. The big one isn't nasty, though. He's really stupid. A big dumb Yuki. <laughs> right, we're gonna stop I'm going to see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. Just like the first one, this one's very dialogue heavy. And you gotta like keep uh, instigating a lot of dialogue just to to get further in the game. I remember them being here. Oh, honestly, oh, I mean to say, what an, what is it this time? Shut it, right? You hulking jerry roll, or else you'll be answering to me. And what is it now? Good day, sir. Don't go in telling me. <laughs> what can I do for you, ma'am? My name's Kate Walker. I just got here. A pretty little thing so far from home. Where are you from, lovebird? From... from New York. New York, eh? Hey, well, I never... Are you traveling alone, ma'am? No, no, I'm traveling with two companions. I came by train. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I came by train and... So we sewn, me and my bro. Nice machine. No, really. <laughs> no Russian tin can, that baby, or no? Nice train. Nice. Nice. Doo -doo. Uh, yeah, actually, it belongs to one of my friends. You must be very rich, your friend, eh? <laughs> Doo -doo. Not really. He built the train to go looking for sight. Uh, I mean, to realize a kind of dream of his. Dreams, eh? Hey, very interesting. What kind of dream needs a pretty train like that, eh? If it's not a personal question. Doo -doo. A childhood dream. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> the coal dispenser looks like it's broken. You might be right there. Quite often broken she is, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you know how I can get it working again? You've got to put a bit of gas in, that's all. In the red tank. Foot of the machine. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Always a pleasure. Where can I find some gas? Just next to the coal dispenser. <laughs> Seeing as you don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> you might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No. Goodbye. Okay, so... I do know it's down there. Oh, come on! And then it's like over here. 
right? Come on. Isn't it? Here we go. Let's see. Oh, there's no more gas. That's the problem. A petrol-driven generator. Now, where could I find some fuel? Here's the gas can. Out of luck. The can's empty. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere to fill it. And then I think we go back to these guys. Good day, sir. You again? Yeah. Yep, little old me again. I need coal for my train, but the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. I thought you might be able to sell me a bit of fuel. So, you're ready leaving? Sorry, we ain't got no gas. Ain't got no gas at all. But what's that motor noise behind you then? Oh, yeah. That works on electricity, see, miss? <laughs> and that smoke works on electricity too? Uh, see, uh, what you see ain't your business, miss. Take care of your own backyard and leave me and my brother here to work. Yeah. Leave Igor and uh, Ivan to work. But I need some gas, that's all. We ain't got none. N-O-G-A-S. No gas. N-O. No. Ga- Uh... No gas. No gas. I don't think there's anything else Sir, I'd to like say. to... Look, we ain't got no time to waste with you, sugar mitts. Try not being quite so pushy. <laughs> You're starting to give me and my brother ideas, right? <laughs> mm, I see. Be a pity if something nasty happened to you, my little pouty lips. <laughs> if I don't get some gas, I can't get any coal, and my train is just going to stay here blocked in this station. And so what do you want from us? Yes. Hey, sir, I really need some gas, and looks like you've got some here. Oh, patootie, don't know the meaning of no? As in, no, we ain't got none. No ga uh, no gas, no gas. Seeing as you don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> you might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No, goodbye. They are not nice. One thing I'm gonna do that I know I can do. Is it this one? Or is it this one? It's this one. So you see, Circos was the uh, name of the uh, Gaia that's helping Malka out. So we'll, we'll go there. I just wanna do this real quick. Yeah, I wanna go do that first. I think there's something I need before I do what I gotta do here. I do kind of remember this. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh shit. It's really it scared a bit me. too cold. I Dressed like this, I'd better not hang around too much outside. I didn't expect her to do that uh, thing, that brr. I didn't expect her to do that. This kind of scared me. <laughs> kind of scared me. I shouldn't have. Up there is the monastery. That's the second location. Where I actually made it. And then that's when I stopped and realized I should just put this all on YouTube. That doesn't work. Oh wait, no. I thought I had the small key. My bad. Shouldn't have done that. That doesn't work. Shut up. <laughs> there was something with this. What if I... can't go up that way, never mind. Oh yeah, I'm just getting ahead of myself. There's certain things I remember, and certain things I, I'm just like, I'm remembering out of order, apparently. I don't think I can go all the way down here. Oh wait, no, okay, that's just a weird angle of where I've been. So... Wait, okay. Where's Malka? 
Here's Malka. Hi, Malka. You want to talk to me? To you, yes. Malka, do you know anyone who has gas here? No, Kid Walker. You see, I need gas to get that coal contraption working. <laughs> Not me. I don't touch that machine. It smells. The Burghoff brothers could maybe give me a hand. Why not? They're as dirty and smelly as the machine you want to mend. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. Um, good evening, sir. Good evening, milady, and welcome to the famous Circus Cabaret, haven of all known pleasures and human arts. How may I be of service to you? I've just arrived here. My name's Walker. Kate Walker. You have a charming little town. Uh, well, Miss Walker, allow me to wish you a charming sojourn in our charming town. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be around long. I've got to get going again soon. This is one strange town you live in, Mr. Sirkos. Only folks come to this town are folks just passing through. Often as not, cagey folk come here buying and selling or wheeling and dealing and having themselves a fine old time. After this town, there's nothing but snow, Miss Walker. Mr. Sirkos. Those horses on the stage are strangely familiar. Before, I had a performing monkey, but he died at the end of the fall. Climate here is too rough and tumble for intelligent animals. Without my monkey, my cabaret was a sham. But the show must go on, so I dug out these old automatons. Been pretty successful in their time. Let's get them back on stage, I said. It's their mechanism, though, very delicate to regulate, takes several hours. But I invite you, Miss Walker, to watch my new act, Horsebreaker to Mechanical Stallions. <laughs> Your clockwork horses, Mr. Sirkos. They look so like something a dear friend of mine might have made. Uh, maybe your dear friend is my dear friend. What's his name? Hans. Hans Varlberg. Hans Vorlberg. Well, I never. It's been years since I've had any news of him. How's he going? Very well. We're traveling together. Oh, Miss Walker. Can you tell Hans to come up here? Make an old showman mighty happy. If he could turn a screwdriver to them, their clockwork horses. Cause I don't know diddly about automatons. Sure, I'll pass on the message. But I can't promise he'll come. We're kind of short of time, Mr. Sirkos, you understand? Of course, of course, Miss Walker. But tell him anyway, would sure make my day. Mr. Sirkos, I really need to get some coal to continue my journey. But the generator that operates the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. Sorry, my lovely. Here you will find the finest range of vodkas known to man, the sweetest distillations from the furthest flung corners of our Russian holy land. But vodka, of course, only stokes the heart and belly. No good for generator fuel. Mr. Sirkos, say, do a lot of trains pass through here? Not now. Of course, once upon a time that line was quite a thoroughfare. Now it's good as abandoned. People going to know you in town, Miss Walker. Okay. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. See, I know it's very dialogue heavy and I try to avoid unnecessary dialogue, but I just don't know what is unnecessary or what triggers something to happen that advances in the game. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing.
anything up this way? Nope. Mr. Sirkos? No, oh, never mind. What can I do for you? No, I don't want to talk. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. I don't think there's anything else Hi, here. Hi, Malka. You want to talk yes. to you? Nope, I'm okay. going to see what I can as you like, Kate. Come on, Kate. Kate, come on. Okay, go up. So let's talk to the... I think he's the colonel. We'll talk to him again. He's not... Oh, oh, who are you? Can I talk to you? I don't think I can talk to you. Oh, well. Colonel's not an easy guy to talk to either. Nicer than those brothers. Mainly the one brother. The other brother he just sort of like follows. What does this other brother say? Colonel? Sorry. I am very busy, madame. Jerry can. What? The generator's dry. There's not oh. a drop of gas. Not a drop of gas, huh? Hmm. That's strange. Because as far as I know, no one's ever used the coal dispenser. Luckily, I've got a jerry can. Is there somewhere I can fill it up, Colonel? Mm-hmm. Mm. Have to wait for maintenance. They fill the generator from time to time. Yeah, I know. Next week, or the week after, or sometime next blue moon. I forgot that a jerry can is a gas can. I know where your key is, Colonel. Oh, it's not my key. That's state property, Miss Walker. I'm just an old soldier. You must have dropped it. There's a kid down there who says it's hers now. Going to be no picnic getting it back then, huh? Oh, she looks sweet enough. And I'm sure she never says no to treats and presents. Oops, mm. sorry. So everything's got its price then, Miss Walker. Yeah. Hmm. A generator down below with some kind of coal dispensing gizmo on top. Where will the technological revolution end? Oh, it's no more crazy than a clockwork locomotive that needs coal, my dear. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. There is something with this ladder, him getting the ladder down. And I can't for the life of me remember what we do about it. This thing's... Here we go, I got the key back. I don't know what I can do with the key. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to Hans real quick. And mention that guy to him. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere. Oh, stop it. Hans? Yes, Kate? Okay. So I find the coal, okay, then we leave. Then. Do hurry, Kate. Never mind. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. Wait, is there anything in here? Really, there's nothing in here I can take. Oh, stop it. Okay, come on, Kate. Kate. There we go. There's nothing here, right? This place looks like it got, like... Like a messed up. Hmm, Hans's mammoth doll. Yeah, I don't think we need it. Stop. 
Nothing down there? No, okay, none of those papers. Cool. Ooh, it's aggravating. I just wish I could remember the order of which the stuff happens. I know that there is, wait, now that this is... Doesn't look like yeah, that works. I just wanted to make sure. Nothing this way, right? I know of what I have to do. I think I need an item to do it that I don't have. I can't seem to remember. I don't talk to Malka again, right? Pretty sure I've exhausted talking to everybody I need to talk to. Hi, Malka. To you. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna see what I can find further. As you like, Kate Walker. I don't know if this will work. I don't know if using the key on this will work. Go up there, come on. If that's going to work... That doesn't work. I can never mind. I don't think I can go up anymore. This path must lead to the monastery. Pity it's so far away. Maybe I can stop off on my way back from Siberia. Yeah, okay, so that is something that comes in a little bit later. It looks really nice from from this angle, though. I guess we're just gonna... I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm missing something. No! No! Ah! Maybe not. You clam brain blubber bag! Wait till I catch you! That is all. I thought I had to have like meat or something to to distract the animal, but I guess not. I guess I just had to. What's going on? Okay, <laughs> he's fighting the uh, the dog. I guess it's a dog, right? No, oh, he's sleeping. I don't remember where the thing is. Where is it? Where am I going? Well, I had the right idea. This machinery stinks to high heaven. Okay, that wasn't it. What am I missing here? There we go. I just, I just like moved to. I don't know. There we go. So I guess like when I originally did it, I just moved too wide, that I went out like this, and then I just couldn't get a good angle on it. So I'm guessing that was. I really thought there was another piece to this. Um, puzzle that I had to do. I didn't realize I just had to open up that gate for the dog. I thought I had to, like, throw meat or something. I don't know why I thought that. Thinking about a different game, I guess.
The generator's working. Now I just have to get the coal up there. That's right. Has happened. Oh no. Calm down, Oscar. What's happened? Mr. Forelberg has disappeared. No. What? He was in the train and now he isn't. Don't panic, Oscar. He can't have gotten far. I'll go and round him up. He is not in the best of health, Kate Walker. And it is so cold. I know, I know, but calm yourself down. I'll go and look for him right away. Okay, one second, I think. My, my dog needs to go out. One second, everybody. One second. Okay, I spilled hot chocolate on my shirt, so now I had to change shirts. So let's get back into this game. Wait, what? Oh no, my bad. There we go. So we gotta go find Hans. I think he's down with Sarkos. Okay. Let me go bye bye. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, that was that. How's it going? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. What happened? It's not his fault. How's it going? One more time. Your brother's a good-for-nothing imbecile, Anna. You hear me? A feeble idiot! Okay, we're not getting anywhere with him. Anything here I can grab now? Okay, now, so let's go talk to Oscar. I guess Oscar is the one we gotta talk to. If Kate can go forward. Kate Walker! What does all this mean? I don't know, Oscar. Hans has had a kind of fit, a kind of delirium. His health isn't exactly 100% right now. Why, that's simply awful, Kate Walker! We must do something! Things cannot go on like this! Please, calm down. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Kate Walker, but do hurry! I'll talk to the colonel again. Like I said, there was something about that ladder, and there was obviously something about that little thing that was right by the monastery. Alright, this way. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? Would you have something to treat a fever? My friend is sick. I'm sorry. I sold my last pills last week. Is there a doctor around here, or a pharmacy or something? Around these parts? That would surprise me. They say the monks up there can patch a man up. At least people around here go up there sometimes. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. Go on, Kate. <laughs> I know, yeah, okay. I don't know why I keep doing that. Is Oscar here?
Oscar? Are you still here, Kate Walker? Mr. Forelberg needs you terribly. Please do not procrastinate. Jeez, I'm trying not to. Hans isn't feeling so great, Oscar. You've got to help me treat him. I do not have sufficient knowledge of human mechanics. The human body presents a somewhat complex system, Kate Walker. Okay. Of course I understand. I'll try to find someone competent. Please do hurry, Kate Walker. Hans Vorlberg seems to be running out of steam. As soon as I find help, I'll come back, Oscar. Oscar, is this the first time that Mr. Vorlberg has had an illness like this? I don't know Mr. Vorlberg any more than you do, Kate Walker. I am only an automaton, after all. A machine born of creative genius. The feeling of concern I feel for my creator, at this precise moment, is merely the result of a wheelwork combination designed to produce just this effect. I don't like it when you talk like that, Oscar. If we go now, Oscar, we're sure to find someone who can help us on the way. Nothing of the sort, Kate Walker. The rest of our journey is long and perilous. What will we do if we encounter no help along the way? I guess you're right. Oscar, I should go try and get help in this town. Sadly, Kate Walker, there is clearly no doctor here. There must be someone. What do people do here when they're sick? Right. I'm going to look for help. Yes, do hurry up, Kate Walker. Okay. Again, I sort of remember some things. It's just... Um, I'm on, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, the volume's on. Okay. I remember some things. It's just a matter of how to get there. How to get to that point. I don't think Malka's the answer, but I'll ask her anyway. Malka? Yes, Kate? My friend Hans is very sick. He needs taken care of. Oh... Otherwise, he's going to die, isn't he? Like Mama. I don't know. He wants to get to the end of his journey so badly. Sometimes that is not enough, Kate. Tell me, do you know anyone who could help heal my friend Hans? Zirkos has special tonics in his bar. No, I need a real doctor. Then you'll have to go to the monastery. I suppose there are monks at the monastery. Yeah. That's right. Monks with big black robes. They're really creepy. There's nothing to be afraid of. As monks, they must be good men. And you tell me they can treat Hans? The Patriarch is a stern old man. He won't treat your friend if you don't follow the monastery rules. How do you know that, Malka? He wouldn't look after Mama straight away. Because of the rules. That's why she's dead. I'm sorry, Malka. So, what are the rules? Thank you for your help. I'll go talk to Sir. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. I don't remember what the rules were. Maybe he knows. Howdy, Mr. Sirkos. Good day to you, Miss Walker. How's our friend Hans Vorlberg coming along? Uh, not great news. Ah. Uh, well, if I can be of service, whatever you require, don't hesitate to shout. Mr. Sirkos, you wouldn't know someone who could treat Hans Varlberg, would you? Oh, not many pill pushers around here. Guess there's always the monks. The monks, you say? People around here say the Patriarch of the Monastery has healing powers. They also say he's a dingling, a bit of a fanatic, if you know what I mean. Well, whatever. I have no choice. I'm gonna ask about Malka real quick. Tell me, Mr. Sirkos. It was you who took in that little girl Malka into your care, wasn't it? I just couldn't bear to leave a little girl like that. What happened to her mother? Oh, a gypsy woman fleeing God knows what monkey business. She got here half dead and crazed with fever. The monks helped her, isn't that right? Uh, you could say that. When they stopped being high and mighty, they took her up to their monastery for treatment. But it was far too late for the poor girl. Them old crows make up their own rules. 
They'd leave a man to rot rather than get their habits dirty. I don't like them one bit, Miss Walker. What rules are you talking about? It's a phony old custom. To decide whether a dying man is actually dying at all, the patriarch of the monastery looks at the patient's face before deciding yay or nay. But how? I don't understand. They kind of make this print of the face on a piece of cloth, you know, like the Shroud of Jesus in the Bible. Yeah, that Shroud, that's what, um, I think that's the thing that we get out of that little... I don't even know what you would call it. You'll see. The thing that I went to a few times. I'm pretty sure there is a uh, cloth in there that we use as a shroud. I must confess I don't really understand this shroud story. You'll see. Just outside the village, the monks have put this kind of iron box. That's what I'm talking a about. A box containing a pile of linen sheets. When you put one of these sheets over the face of the sick man, it has the curious property of soaking up all his sweat and juices. So effective it is that all the features of his face can be seen on the cloth. And so the old patriarch looks to this print to form his diagnosis? At least what he can judge is whether that face on the shroud is sick enough to get dragged up those rocks to the monastery and be treated by him. I suppose anybody can take a cloth from the crate if he needs it? You suppose wrong, Miss Walker. One person has charge of the distribution of the said shrouds, and that's Malka. She sure is proud of her position. The Patriarch himself gave her the responsibility, and that kid ain't giving it up for no man, believe me. But she's nice. It's really cold around here. I can't go to the monastery dressed like this. Dead right, Miss Walker. Best to be careful in these temperatures. You wouldn't have something warm to lend me, would you, Mr. Sirkos? Um, <laughs> not gonna be easy, what with you having mighty different, uh, vital statistics and all, ma'am. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Please excuse me. I'm going to try to find some clothes someplace. Mr. Sirkos, could you please introduce me to the Patriarch of the Monastery? Mm, no, not want my opinion. Best stay right away. Oh, why's that? Have you ever heard a showman and a priest sing a duet together? They think my cabaret is a den of debauchery, and that I'm a funky old miscreant luring lambs from the altar. Really, Mr. Sirkos, we're not in the 19th century anymore. But we're not too far here, Miss Walker. Believe me, best I don't put my finger in that pie. Do the monks have a telephone? Uh. They don't even have electricity. You'll have to go up there in person, Miss Walker. Then try to convince them to take care of your friend. I think that was it How do you that. get up to the monastery? When you go out of here, turn right. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I already saw it. I just want to make sure I've It's exhausted. colder than the North Pole out there, Mr. Sirkos. Do I have to go up to the monastery on foot? There isn't some other form of transportation? Don't even think about it, Miss Walker. Only pony can make it up there is Shank's pony. You're going to have to use your feet, I'm sorry to say. I'm just trying to exhaust everything at this point, dialogue-wise. I know I try to avoid it, but... I just want to make sure I get all the information. Mr. Sirkos, I'm worried about Hans's health. Dang! It's all my fault! Never should have asked him to do me that favor! What do you mean, favor? No major work or anything, just to get my wind-up Broncos back in the game. You knew that already, Dave. Oh, don't blame yourself. Hans was already ill before he came to see you. You've got nothing to do with it. Okay, we'd I've got to go that. now. Go quickly, Miss Walker. And good luck. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. Because yeah, we're about to uh, reach uncharted territory for me. Because once we get to the monastery... I have no idea what happens, because everything I've done here so far, I kind of remember. I mean, I'm remembering out of order and stuff. If that's going to work, yeah, yeah, yeah. looks like something's missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I can't go up there, right? I think I try this every single time and it never, ever goes anywhere. Anyway. Like, I know 
I go to the colonel to get something to wear. I just can't remember what I have to do to get to that dialogue. Tell me. How is it going? Since he was really young, Hans has dreamed of a land called Siberia. Siberia doesn't exist. It's just a story they tell kids to make them sleep. And I'm no kid anymore. I believe the story, though, Malka. So, you're going to have to help your friend, Kate. She doesn't, doesn't sound like a little kid. I know she is a little kid, but, like, she carries herself very well. Like an older kid. He told me why they couldn't treat her at the monastery. Yes, Kate. Sometimes, people get too sick and there's nothing that can be done. Is your friend too sick? I hope he isn't. I'm going to help you, Kate. Can you help me, Malka? Hmm... Only if your friend is a little bit sick. Not too much, or you'll be sad. We'll see. Let's give it a try, you know? Like for your mother, with the monks. On the road to the monastery, there's a kind of box with sheets. The monks call them shrouds. I'm going to give you a token so you can get one. It's very important, Kate Walker. Then what do I do with this shroud? Take it and lay it over your friend's face. <sighs> okay. I'll give it a try. I have to go upstairs anyway, like I said, to talk to- Thank you for your help. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. In order to talk, I have to go upstairs to talk to the colonel to get something to wear anyway. So I have to go back up, up there anyway. So I'm gonna get the shroud now, instead of doing all this back and forth. So then I'll do the shroud now. And then, while I'm up there getting an imprint of Hans's face, I'll go speak to the colonel. Oh, come on, Kate. I might use this in the thumbnail, because that's really pretty. Come on, come on. Okay, up the stairs, up the stairs. Okay, we're gonna go do this with Hans real quick. I hope he survives this. Like I said, I haven't, uh, I haven't beaten this game specifically, so I don't know how it ends. I don't know if Hans survives the journey. I, I would hope he would, because I know that there's a Sir Siberia three. And I've heard that they're make that they've made uh, like I don't know if they made it or if they're in, in the making of it right now, but Siber Siberia Four, and I like to think Hans would still be alive for that since it was his dream. My cat Leo is in the background. Hi, Leo. That's gonna be scary. The poor guy's just laying there, and she just like throws this thing over his face without any explanation. Okay, come on. Let's talk to the colonel. There's Leo's face. Go the wrong way. Colonel, please, can you help me? 
What can I do for you, Miss Walker? From what I've heard, Colonel, the Patriarch of the Monastery is some kind of healer. I'm just an old Cossack. And to me, there's only one real remedy for everything. A good shot of vodka. And that'd finish off poor hands for sure. Our route is still long, and my friend is suffering. I don't know what to do. Siberia is hellish cold at this time of year, Miss Walker. And journeys take an age. Your friend isn't in the prime of youth anymore. I was told the Patriarch of the Monastery can diagnose illness if he's shown a cotton sheet marked with the feverish face of the patient. What do you think about that, Colonel? Here in Mother Russia, Katyuchka, there are stranger tales to be told. So she started in the beginning of um, the first one, the first game, in Valadilen. Which I believe was in France, and now she's in Russia, just to give you the idea of uh, just how far they've gone in this train. I don't know how far into Russia, so so I don't, you know, I'd have to look at a map to see, but still, it's a long ways to go, I would imagine. I want to go up to the monastery. But it's so cold outside. Would you have some warm clothes to loan me? Maybe so. I might find what you want up in the attic. I'll get the ladder out. I'll pay you for what I use, of course. Don't you worry, Kachuchka. You're a true ray of sunshine in this dusty old shop. And we don't see sunshine here every day. You blamed me for losing your key before, so... You're very wishy-washy. Wishy washy, is that you know, either way. You'll find something that'll fit you in the attic, I'm sure. There you go, miss. I can't climb up there anymore. Now, where to find some place appropriate to slip into this? With the bathroom in the train, where I was before. Nothing else to take up here? Take a bike! Take a bike up to the monastery. <laughs> Kidding. I always forget to highlight it. Um, when I need it. I've been pretty good this game so far. With remembering to just have it selected already before I have to use it. <sighs> At last, a bit of privacy for once. Toasty, and not nice. unelegant even. She does look nice. I'll give her that. Nice change of wardrobe for her. So now we head up to the monastery. This is a another thing I remember. I remember this part was a little bit confusing when, when I get up there. Because you do something outside of the monastery before you get into the monastery. And I believe that's the next location is the monastery. And that's where, I'll, once I'm inside, that's where I'll end it. That's where I stopped playing it the last time. But you gotta do something right outside the monastery first, to get in. This is pretty cool. Yep. So they don't have electricity, but they got this, like, elevator kind of thing.
Talk to him. Excuse me. I'm sorry to disturb you, uh, sir? Blessed art thou, my sister. What can I do for you? Um, my name is Kate Walker, and my train is currently at the station in Romansburg. Oh, oh, Romansburg. Pretty town, but not the kind of town for pretty strangers. Pretty, solitary strangers. <laughs> I don't intend to hang around long, brother. I'm traveling with an old man, Hans Vorlberg, and... <laughs> Vorlberg? Did you say Vorlberg, my sister? You know him? No, <laughs> but I know someone else. <sighs> ah, can you hear? It is the sweet song of the Merula Alba. If only I could catch a glimpse. Such a rare, pretty bird. Few are they who say in truth they have spied her beauty. <laughs> it is probably seeking some other Merula Alba. I'll try Hans one more time. My friend is very ill, you know. It is God's will. God's will. <laughs> what can I do, my sister? What can I do? Help him. Maybe you could visit him at his bedside. Oh, 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 never, my sister, never. I would incur the wrath of our lord and patriarch. <laughs> I'm looking for someone with a medical background. Someone who can tend to the sick. Our patriarch is a remarkable doctor, my sister. He cures bodies as well as souls. <laughs> you couldn't help me, could you, please? I am but a simple monk. You have to go see our patriarch yonder in the monastery. Yeah, he's just repeating himself, but, like, okay, like, I don't know. You live in the monastery, I suppose. That is right, my sister. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Are there many of you up there? A few old monks. <laughs> few are those who heed the calling in this age. Tell me, what have we got to do to get into the monastery? You must pull the rope that rings the bell, my sister, but not too hard, or you will scare the birds. Don't scare them. A monk will show you in. Thank you. You see, some of this dialogue is unnecessary, and I just wish they would just, uh... Like, condense it down to being what we need to know to make the story go faster. What is a Marula Alba? A rare bird. <laughs> it can never be seen as it is as white as snow. They say that when a man sees it, his mind clears and his intelligence grows and grows. <laughs> And, you know, obviously, like, I could just walk away and not keep asking. There seem okay. to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. I, I could have let that go and not... I'm going now. I'll be back soon. that dialogue. What? But at the same time, like I said before, like, I don't know at what point what they say advances the story. And sometimes you do have to keep pushing to advance the story, so I don't know, so it's just safe to just continue the story until you exhaust all possible options. I know there was something on the ground there at some point. I don't know when. At least I thought there was something on the ground over there by where he was. I probably first have to do this thing. Where's the rope? Here we go. Nothing happened. Shocker. It's the equivalent of the door being locked. <laughs> Can I not speak to him? Uh, brother? Yes, my sister. 
Um, I rang the bell, but the monk at the door doesn't seem to want to show me in. There are rules. Rules and traditions to respect here. Respect. <laughs> what rules? What traditions? That some people are less worthy than others. Okay. So how does that monk up there make an opinion about my worthiness by just looking at me? It, it is... it is not a question to ask, my sister. Go on. Can I not? You're telling me that I'm not worthy to enter your monastery? I didn't say. No. I just... I just wash dirty laundry, that's all. <laughs> yes, you did say that. You implied I wasn't worthy. Femina inconcessus. <laughs> I don't understand Latin. Latin, like the birds. Erythacus rubecula. Picus viridis, merula alba. You speak Latin, then? Oh, monk's Latin. Pigeon Latin. Hmm. You seem to know the Latin names of birds. <laughs> pretty birds. Pretty birds. Come on. Picus viridis? Woodpecker. Oh, we're we just gonna keep doing that. How about Erythacus rubicula? Uh, Robin Red Breast. No, I want another one that he likes. And Merula Alba? White Raven, my sister. Femina Inconsusus? Women. Forbidden. <laughs> uh, no. It... Right. I get it because I'm a woman. I'm forbidden access to the monastery. That's horrible. And now I understand. That's the rule, sister. I can't change the rules. Why didn't you say that before, Of course, though? brother. Women are the source of all sin. Isn't that so? I don't know why he didn't tell her that before he made her go pull the, the rope. I don't know why he just didn't say it from the beginning that it wouldn't work. You say that I could find someone to help me. Up there, at the monastery. Yes! At the monastery, oh yes! <laughs> This dialogue drags out so bad, I, I hate I it. rang at the monastery, but there was no reply. Maybe they don't want to let me in. Can you tell me, is there another way in? There is no other way, my sister. <laughs> Why won't they let me into the monastery? Dura Lex said Lex. <laughs> I'm sorry? The law is hard, but it is the law, my sister. <laughs> what law? I don't like questions, my sister. The law is the law is the law. In the law is the law. I must absolutely find a doctor for my friend. I just do the laundry, my sister. That is all. Down here, there are some doctors. And others do the laundry. You are going to make me late. Do you hear? <sighs> It is the Merula Alba again. I don't know if I want to talk to him again. I think I have to. Why won't you help me? I must. Oh, he said he must finish his chores. I don't think he said anything. I'm going now. I didn't I'll mean be to back push soon. that. What? I didn't mean to push that button, but yeah, I, don't, I think he brushed me off. He didn't say anything of any value. I could have sworn there was something else to do. I think he did say that you scare the birds if you keep doing the rope. I'm gonna do it again. I don't remember what I had to do, but I think it has something to do with getting that one monk to leave. Because he's doing laundry, and I think I put on one of those robes. I think, to get, in, to get invited in. Uh, brother? Yes, my sister. Nah, nothing. I'm going now. I'll be back soon. 
What? I think it has something to do with the bird he liked so much. I just can't remember what I'm supposed to do. What happens? Okay, well, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to head back into town. I'll ask Malka. I don't know. I just don't remember. Something to do with birds. And something to do with him seeing the bird leaving his laundry. And I think that's what happens. I think she takes one of those robes to wear to get allowed into the monastery. All this back and forth nonsense. <laughs> Talk to Malka. I'm surprised if they have a problem with women that they let Malka do anything. Like be in charge of that little box of shrouds. Tell me. How is it going? No, well, maybe not. Thank you for your help. Um, Come back and see me. I guess the I like colonel. you, Kate. I guess the colonel. I can't imagine Sirkos knowing because Sirkos doesn't like them. Maybe I should have asked him though since he was down there and I just probably wasted my time coming up here. Come on. I thought I was done with this guy. I don't know. Colonel Emiliov? Is everything as you would like it, Miss Walker? No. Colonel, you don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your oh, okay. many treasures here, do you? A bird call? Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. Interesting. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere. Aha! He said aha when he was already handing it to her. That's kind of funny. Slow dialogue. So I got. Thanks for all your help, call. Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. So now where. Oh, I got a bunch of them. Oh, that sucks. I don't remember which one I need. I guess we'll try them all until it works. Bring the bird calls to the mark. Oh, I give them to him. And do you plan on returning it? Ever? <laughs> okay, no. Eh, you didn't pay for him, I don't think. And do you plan on returning it? Ever? Okay, no. I hope it's the last one so I can get rid of all of them in my inventory. I don't want to hold on to it. I need them in my inventory if they're the wrong one. I think that's it. Damn it, I'm gonna be stuck with the other one now. Can you hear? Can you hear? The Merula Alba! It is calling to me! Calling to me! Yeah, he's strange. <laughs> she goes hiding back there to do it. Oh, you're not making me go all the way back down to the train? You didn't even have to hide. You just throw it over all your clothes. So, this is pretty much the end of this episode now. Well, she looks, uh, very... Very eerie. But cool. At the same time. I, I pushed the button. Go on. I don't know if this is a cutscene or not. Let me get ready. Because I have to disappear. Yeah. No electricity, but they got that elevator. Okay, no cutscene. I didn't have to disappear. Um, good evening, sir. He ain't talking to you.
Box of matches. I need something else to activate it. All right, we just got the um, checkpoint. I think. Okay. Was I actually in the monastery when I? Let me go a little bit further, and then we'll end it here. Uh, somewhere here. I'm not gonna talk to that guy. Oh, she can't run. I hear them. Okay, well, I'm gonna end this here, actually. Um, because I already saw that the, the checkpoint, so when I, we start this, when we come back next, next episode, we'll be here, we'll be fine. So this is the new location, the monastery, which I, um, yeah, so like that's what happened with the last episodes in the last game. Each episode was different, uh, location, and that's what's happening here, too. So this is the second location in the game. So this is where we're going to stop, and then we'll pick up here for the next episode. Okay, so that is it. Yeah, very dialogue-heavy still. Uh, very annoying at times, but it's still a good story. And I'm still interested to seeing how this works out, like if they ever make it to Siberia, and, you know, what's it like if they do? Have a great day. See you next time.